This comes as President Trump is slated to visit El Paso tomorrow, where he'll host a campaign rally. Senator Ted Cruz and Governor Greg Abbott are both expected to join him. At the same time, same city, former Congressman Beto O'Rourke will lead a march to protest the border wall. He'll be joined by dozens of civic and human rights organizations from the city. And that is where KXAN's <coughs> political reporter Phil Prazen is live with how this whole thing started. Good evening, Phil. Good evening, Tom. This all started during President Trump's State of the Union address when he said that El Paso had the uh, crime rates, the low crime rates it does because of the border barrier that now separates the city and Mexico. Well, that really got under the skin of some of the community leaders and politicians here from El Paso, and it also got fact checkers going to work. It turns out that is not true, that crime plummeted here in El Paso long before the border wall was built. And crime also has gone up several years after the wall was built in the mid or to late 2000s. But after that reaction from the city of El Paso, the Trump campaign uh, announced that they would be holding a Make America Great Again rally at the County Coliseum here in El Paso County. He'll use the safety of this city to claim that border walls reinforce the safety of this entire country. Of course, this is before we face another potential government shutdown over the border wall. Negotiators from the House and the Senate are behind closed doors trying to prevent one, but no word yet on a deal. In the meantime, former Congressman Betro O'Rourke will return to the spotlight and hold a counter rally here. Several thousands of people are supposed to be here with him, so much so that Customs and Border Patrol issued a traffic advisory to people who live and work and travel in between El Paso and Mexico to let them know that it is going to be a very busy day here tomorrow. Uh, expect long lines and a long wait to get in and out of the city. And both those two groups will be very close together near the County Coliseum. And Phil, there's a lot of people wondering whether O'Rourke will run for president or not. Any indication that we should expect an announcement the same day the president is in his backyard? Well, speculation sure is rampant. Uh, Betro O'Rourke himself has only said that he's excited about that possibility and then also that he'd make a decision of whether to run for president by the end of February. That's what he told Oprah Winfrey in a sit-down interview. But uh, other than that, he's been kind of quiet. But it does offer a rare opportunity, an organic opportunity for a politician. We've seen uh, multiple politicians announce a presidential run, including just today uh, Amy Klobuchar up in Minnesota. A lot of them are just kind of staged, created press conferences. This would be an organic, in-the-moment announcement. The storyline is here. The national press is here. The spotlight is here. We just have to wait to see if he does it. For the past few weeks, he's been saying the one thing that's keeping him from running is the burden it would place on his family. His wife, Amy, and his three school-aged children want to spend time with him, but he does already have uh, a large database of online uh, donors only second to Senator Bernie Sanders uh, from Vermont. So uh, it's expected to be quite a show here tomorrow. Um, and we'll just have to wait to see if he does it or not, Tom.